If you're managing deer, hunting deer, or just like deer, you've probably seen a lot of conflicting, confusing information in ads and magazines and, and advertisements on TV shows, outdoor shows, uh, about plant this, plant that, all the latest magic beans, this and that. And so what, what do deer really like and what really works? Well, we, we started the first food plot project uh, back in the, in the late 70s and been working on it ever since. And let me tell you something, there's not a plant out there that you can plant for deer that we haven't tested at one time or another. And I'm here to tell you, after almost 50 years of doing this, here's, here's what it boils down to. In cool, you got cool season crops, you got warm season crops. Cool season crops are planted in the fall and grow, especially in the south, grow through the winter. Uh, if you're in a southern area, uh, and then the deer and then emerge in the spring. In the north, of course, you got snow and it gets cold. So we, we plant in August and then we get snow on them and the deer paw through the snow and eat them. They're still down there. That's a cool season. The warm season is you come in in spring, plant something, and hopefully it'll grow well into the summer or through the summer. And what we've found, let's take them one at a time. In the cool season crops, uh, cereal grains are top of the list. Cereal grains are high in digestible energy and they're very, very useful uh, for not only uh, supplementing the diet of deer, but, but drawing deer uh, in to hunt. And of the cereal grains, we, we've analyzed them every way you can. And here's the ranking. Oats are first, wheat is second, rye is third, triticale is fourth, and rye grass is the very dead last. And no one I don't think should ever plant rye grass. Deer don't like it and you'll never get rid of it. So those are the orders of preference. We have, we have re replicated our research in the south and the north and the east and the west, and the cereal grains are always number one. Now, uh, along with that, we, we plant and we've found that the clovers are a good complement to cereal grains. Uh, there are two kinds of clovers, the red clovers and the white clovers. The uh, white clovers are real good uh, in yield while it's cool, but I'll tell you something about white clovers is when it starts to get hot, they can roll up their tent and they go home. And so you're gonna lose them. The red clovers, most of which are annuals or reseeding annuals are, are very good. They tend to grow a little, a little more volume and they handle heat very well. Uh, for example, Kenlin Red. The next cool season and really cool and warm season is chicory, of course. Uh, chicory, you have to establish it in the fall when it's wet and cool. And if you can get it established, uh, it'll give you up to five, six, seven years of, of forage almost year round. The neat thing about chicory is that it has a deep tap root and uh, when it gets dry, it may dry, die back, but you come, get an inch of rain on it and they'll come right back out, out again. And those are the only cool season plants that we ever plant anywhere we manage white-tailed deer. Now the warm season plant, there, there's several, uh, but basically we can boil it down to this. In the south we plant cow peas. There's a variety called Dr. Deer cow peas. We plant cow peas, uh, some soybeans, but I really don't like soybeans in the south. And we'll often mix in with our cow peas uh, a crop like corn, a, a low uh, seeding rate of corn to give the, the vines something to grow up on. It makes more forage if you allow them to do that. Uh, and that makes a very good combination in the south. The problem with cow peas, they're highly attractive to deer. And so you're gonna have to have some way to protect them when they're early, when they get established early. Uh, we use the polypropylene fences. We also use uh, three strand electric fences for that. So those are what we plant in the south. In the north, we plant soybeans and corn is our main combination and of course we carry over chicory. Long answer, but that's what we found out. It's really pretty simple.